Greetings, YouTube. You know, sometimes I make mistakes, and I usually take down the video. Sometimes I issue even a apology. It's been a while since I've done a community post apology, but you know, I can go back for an, farther enough on my channel. I've got one. But uh, when I got the request to take down a video I posted on my channel today, I said no. Even though if you look at the comments of said video, you'll see quite a few people who said that I was um, spreading fake news about the drop rates of the new daily special. It is 1.5% and the comment basically said, Prof, it's supposed to be 1.5% because if you think about it in terms of a Nexus crystal, then... 3 times 1.5 is 4.5, and that should be the drop rate. So they're just giving us what used to be the old drop rates, but a third, since uh, a Nexus crystal technically has three crystals for the price of one. Well, I guess I would kind of understand that logic if the five-star drop rates were also cut by a third. But let's just do the math for ourselves. 1.5% for a six-star 17.5% for a 5 star. If you go to the basic crystals, we'll start with a featured crystal where the drop rates are, of course, higher with Nexus crystals. Uh, these are 3.6% for a 6 star, 0.9% for a 6 star Nexus, or 4.5% if you add it both. The 5 star is 19.2%. And then if you add in the five-star Nexus, that becomes uh, 25%, or 20, I guess technically 24%, 24% and 4.5%. But if you want to at least give the middle ground to this, go to the basic Cavalier crystal, which without the Nexus factored in is 3% for the six-star and 16% uh, for the five-star. Well, from 16%, to a small buff of 17.5%. So the five star drop rate is better in this crystal than it is in a regular Cavalier crystal. So by the logic of those that said the six star drop rate was correct, that means that the 17.5% five star drop rate would be the equivalent of 52.5% for a five star in a Nexus, but then of course just a 4.5% drop rate for the six star. So, look, I'm not trying to spike the football. I am wrong just as much as I am right on my channel. I call myself the, the fast food of MCOC. I deliver fast, fresh information. Sometimes it doesn't sit well in somebody's stomach. Sometimes maybe it even makes you sick. But it is what it is. And I'm not trying to pretend that uh, McDonald's is filet mignon. However... I stuck to my guns, and at least for this once, of all people, Kabam Mike came to my rescue. Thank you, Brian Shadow Strike, for delivering me this update. Hey, all, sorry for the late response, but we have confirmed that the drop rates should actually be 3% and not 1.5%. Well, what do you know? We are going to correct this for the future offers and we'll be sending out the correct crystals to summoners that bought the crystal with the incorrect drop rates at some time in the near future. It's almost like everything I said in that video about a combination of the drop rates needing to be double what they were and most importantly buying something that breaks their own terms of service for both the Google Play and Apple Store was correct, at least in this specific case. And you know what's amazing to me is the same people that send me sometimes literal death threats. It's been it's been a few years since I had people say like, if you don't get off YouTube, you know something might happen to you. And then of course you report the account, but the account's someone's burner account. You don't actually know what human being there are. It's just someone, a keyboard warrior. But yeah, you know, most of the time it's not that dramatic. It's just like take down the video. The drop rates are correct. This is fake news. You're just trying to get clicks. Blah blah blah. And in all honesty, like that's not what the purpose of that video or any video is. I'm trying to share information uh, how I see fit. The information is not going to be right 100% of the time. And like I said, if I've confirmed that the information is wrong, 
I usually delete the video. But in this case, the same people that say really nasty things, they don't come back and say, hey, my bad. They just don't say anything. And that's the price you pay for a public channel, right? If you're wrong, you're like the FBI. If you're wrong, everybody will know it and nobody will forget about it. And if you're right, nobody will notice. Um, with that being said, the community that I've been able to hopefully uh, embrace as much as I feel like they've embraced me has largely adopted me and will tolerate my occasional mistake, but hopefully also appreciate when I bring uh, information fast and in a small deliverable, usually five to seven minute, like this video, count. So, what do you know? The drop rates were incorrect. Uh, compensation will be going out sometime in the near future. We're not going to guesstimate what that means. Knowing Kabam, you never know. But they did acknowledge that they will be sending out the correct crystals to summoners that bought the crystal. And oh, by the way, if you still think to yourself, well, can I buy the crystal as long as the drop rate, the drop rate say 1.5% for a six star, you, you should have a argument for a replacement crystal. It is what it is. Brian, thank you for the information. For everybody out there who's not sending hateful things every time they think I'm wrong, I appreciate that.